You're welcome back to the program and thank you for staying with us. Still keeping with our topic of the day, it's International Youth Day and of course it's themed youth, it's, it's themed click from click to progress, youth digital pathways for sustainable development. And now we will be joined by Izu Divine Freeman from our your studios. Uh, Izu Divine Freeman is the Chief Executive Officer of the Center for Strategic Enterprise Development, as CSED, focuses on startups, incubation, and supporting businesses in their digital transformation. Hello and good morning, Izu. Yeah, good morning. It's wonderful to have you join us on the program today. Very quickly. Thank now, you so much for inviting me. Very quickly, let's set the ball rolling. It's International Youth Day, and I believe a lot of uh, youth who are tuned into this program uh, will be uh, ready to listen to some of the proactive uh, suggestions or discussions that will be held today. What does this theme mean for most youths across the world, especially youths in Nigeria, from clicks to progress, being that we have seen a lot of progress in the uh, technology and innovation uh, industry in the country? Yeah, uh, first I have to start by saying that uh, for this represents uh, an opportunity uh, for youths. Uh, generally, technology represents an opportunity for youths across the world, and the United Nations have put, uh, put up to there actually to celebrate these opportunities and also create an awareness uh, for some of the youth that are not aware of the inherent opportunities that lie with technology to open up and start exploring and start taking advantage of this. Number one, technology is enabler. So uh, the, the technology is enabler, enables us to solve problems. And I can assure you that uh, we have so many problems in Africa, in Nigeria in particular. And technology is the right guy to help the youth to move from the air, from the receiving point to the active point. From the point uh, where they are complaining to the point where they start providing solutions. They are about using the technology. So we have challenges in our healthcare systems, we have challenges in our education, we have challenge in different industries and all that. And technology has seen a friendly to has seen to be a friendly to and friendly platform and friendly enabler for you to start diving into these areas and start creating opportunities. And yeah, we are beginning to see things going on happening within Nigeria across different sectors. Uh, I was listening earlier to the previous speakers. Uh, 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 and then we are talk, uh, talked about the blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, and all that. And all these things represent opportunities uh, across which we can apply in the financial sector. And now we begin to talk about fintech. And uh, we can apply in the health sector. And we begin to talk about health tech. We, we can apply across different. And then also we have the additive manufacturing sector coming up, uh, 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 coming up very fastly there about. And uh, people are beginning to cash into it to prefer housing solutions, to prefer uh, solution for to bri start bridging gap for papers uh, that we have in the huge gap that we have for papers in Nigeria and across Africa. So generally, uh, it represents an opportunity and it's a celebration of opportunities and awareness for youth to begin to take over the uh, to uh, leverage and opportunity to begin to solve problems around them well certainly technology represents a huge opportunity for the youth of nigeria and africa at large earlier we had a speaker in the studio uh, who shared a different thought with regards to uh, ai developments uh, you know around the world uh, a lot of people share sentiments that perhaps artificial intelligence is gradually taking jobs away from uh, the hands of people, especially creatives. And uh, she said that if uh, you take a look at, for instance, a painting that is, you know, hand done, it looks entirely different. It looks more appealing than paintings done by AI. But let me also take you back to the issues of NFTs and the rest that were in vogue in the last uh, couple of years or so. Uh, if you look at NFTs, they are quite expensive, even though not physical paintings that are done by hand 
why why do they seem so expensive and so important especially in the uh, artificial intelligence and and uh, technology space well the th uh, okay uh one of the thing about technology is that when we have new innovations there are the cost of producing these innovations because you are not mass producing those innovations from the initial stage you are experimenting you are trying to find out that to perfect these technologies to be able to solve some certain problems they are about. So what happened is that the entry point of every technology, and not just technology across different industries, the entry point of every product is always high. It's always expensive because of the research and development costs that have gone into that. And then also because uh, the uh, innovators are not mass producing, they are still producing a little quantity to experiment and obtain the uh, customer, the potential customer's feedback to so make sure that it's solving the basic problems or the key problems, the pain points that they are meant to address. Now, what happened is that when technology moved from that particular initial entry stage and moved into the place where it has achieved what we call market fit, uh, it becomes a market fit product that this is really solving problem. This really helping people to achieve their end. What happened is that now in different innovations, more innovations and more enablers that bear the cost begin to come up and then new ways to mass produce begin to come on board and they're about and then the cost of the technology start dropping there about so when we look at costs uh, when it's associated with technologies and um, mostly there about it comes with the cost of research and development all, all right all right mr Izu, I, I, I would have to hold you there we will certainly get back to you uh during the course of this discussion